Good afternoon, my name is Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions and today I'm shooting a video of a 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan GT and you can see with either one of these key fobs I can operate both power sliding doors and the rear trunk hatch. This has a rare, it's a rear entry power ramp. You hold the unlock button. Wait, the ramp will slowly deploy but it is power, it comes right to the ground here. It's a 34 inch wide ramp, 800 pound weight capacity. 56 inches of headroom coming inside the van. There's 57 inches at the max point. And then we get up there in the center, center console, eats up a couple inches hanging down there, so about 55. So hold the button, comes all the way down. Uh, these are, like I said, 34 inches wide. Those are, are about four inches wider than the side entry. So you can get a wider chair up in here. If someone parks next to you in a side entry, you cannot get out of the vehicle. Not the case with the rear entry. Um, Rear entry have a little more ground clearance to help getting over rough terrain, and they're more affordable to convert, therefore more affordable for you to purchase. I do sell both side and rear entry, but I always like to explain the advantages to each. Got your spare tire in there, it's got eight tie down points. Uh, what they did on this particular vehicle, you can also do the ramp here, I'll show that to you in just a minute. Got your cup holders in back. They've removed these second row seats here, so you can pull your wheelchair all the way up. If you need more seats in this van, we can make new post, new mounts, and get new seats and install them. Price is probably going to be around $1,500 for those. So talk to me about that first. If you need those extra seats. And if you don't, boom, you're set up, ready to go. I've uh, got the new Q-Strains in here with your lap belt. And your shoulder harness over here. Uh, brand new, high dollar. We throw, throw those in at no charge to you. Got your tie down instructions there. Nice center console. Dash is in great shape. No cracks or holes in the dash. Got your steering wheel controls so you can keep your eyes on the road. Uh, backup navigation, uh, dual climate control, rear air. We've even got our uh, heated steering wheel and heated seats. I know we don't need any of those anytime soon, but they sure are nice to have when you do need them. Got your uh, plug-ins for all your electronics there. You can also operate all the power sliding doors and the power trunk hatch up there on the center console. You can even do it from down there as well. So when you get everybody secure, come back out. Reverse the process, and I'm going to show you here, you hit the up ramp up, is what it says. You have to hold it. So that's not a one touch of a button, you have to hold it. The nice thing is it's kind of like a winch motor. It's pretty easy to replace. These are not like those super high dollar uh, Freedom Motors conversions. They keep these pretty simple. So, it does take a second. Hold the button until it stops firmly. There you go. And then uh, you can close all the doors, hit the trunk latch there. Quick walk around of the van, it's got tinted windows, it's got the roof rack in case you want to do any traveling. It has the alloy wheels, it's got Yokohama tires on it. These are about 9, 30 seconds, so they're not quite new, but they're not far from it. So, very good tires on it. It's got your running boards down there, help get in and out of the van. A nice clean van. It's been very well taken care of. It's hard to find a dent or scratch on this, I'm not saying it's perfect. See a little bit of touch-up paint right there, probably from some rock chips or a little scrape. And I hope you can tell in my videos, I am trying to be honest and fair as I possibly can. I am not trying to portray this as a perfect brand new van, but it's very nice, it's very clean. If I see a blemish in the paint, if I see a little chip or a tiny dent, I will show you. Because when you show up, I want you to say to yourself, this is the exact van Jeremiah represented in the videos. A little blemish, little scuff there on the side. But for a four, almost five year old van, it's in great shape. Uh, we always show you the VIN number. That way you know I have the vehicle here in my possession. Make sure if you're gonna buy sight unseen, someone sends you a video, this little strip right here. That means that the van's here in my possession, got the VIN number down there. Make sure you get a video of that, all right? What we do with that VIN number, we do a Carfax report on every one of our vehicles. You can see just two owners, no accidents or damage. Last owned here, a nice uh, salt rust free Kansas. We get a couple of snows a year, but it's nothing like up north. Uh, Carfax shows no salvage junk, rebuilt fire, flood, hail, or lemon brands on the title, and they show no total loss. So, this is not one of the super risky salvage or rebuilt titles. It's a clean title, no accidents. Carfax shows no structural damage, airbags have never been deployed, odometer checks out accurate, no accidents or damage, and no open recalls. Carfax does show this vehicle when an estimated start of warranty was 822 of 18. So the five year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty is uh, set for 822 of 2023 
or 60,000 miles. So it has about a month left from this day this video is shot or until the odometer hits 60,000 miles. No matter who you do business with, look them up online, check out their reviews and ratings. Look at us on eBay, 1,339 transactions. Every single one of those transactions, all 1,339 left us positive feedback over negative. That's a pretty darn good report card. And no matter who you, who you buy from, check them out online. Make sure they are a real company. Find us on Google. See, we're here in Wichita, Kansas. 4.8 out of 5 star reviews. You know, I hear a lot of people complaining about buying a van, overpaying $10,000 for it, one with rust issues, mechanical issues, title work, you name it. I've heard it all. I look up the dealers they're buying them from, one and two and three star reviews everywhere. You know, if you buy from anybody with under a four star review, you're, you're asking for trouble. Everybody's had trouble with them. You're going to be no different. What did you expect? Or they buy from somebody off Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, a uh, private individual they know nothing about. Uh, they end up getting scammed out of their life savings or they end up buying a lemon. So, you know, if you want five star vans with five star service from a company that's been doing this for over a decade, give me a call. Okay, another great feature about this van when the doors are locked, hit that remote start button twice. Whether it's a nice hot day like this, you want to come out to a nice air conditioned van, or it's a cold winter day, you want to come out to the nice heated, uh, heated up defrosted windows, you got that option. It does have the two key fobs, it does have one fob for the ramping door. As I enter the vehicle, got the power, power seats. I'm a non smoker, I can smell smoke from a mile away. No signs of any smoke or unusual odors in this van. I'm going to turn the key on here, put the key in, officially turn it on. See that current mile is 43,381 miles. You can see all the dummy lights work and they all go out. There's no check engine lights on, no airbag lights, none of that. And if you want to make these doors manual doors, manual operation of the, of the sliding doors in the trunk hatch, hit the off button there. These doors become easy to operate manual sliding doors. Just a little perspective back here on the van. You get your plug in back there in case you have any electronics, power, wheelchair, or anything like that that you need to plug in. Lots of room back here. So much more room for activities. Tell me what movie that's from. Step Brothers reference for those of you that get it. But uh, we've had three mechanics to check out these vans. We've tested out all the power mirrors, power windows, the power locks, the heat, air, cruise, belts, hoses, suspension, steering, brakes, replace fluids as necessary, check the tires, taking them on a road test. I hope you can tell by our videos, we are very thorough, even those back vents back there. We do not just run these through the car wash and throw them on the lot. We have a huge warehouse, three lifts. We inspect these vehicles very thorough before they hit our lot. Underneath the hood is a 3.6 V6 engine. Idles smoothly, no signs of any damage, no signs of any leaks, and it purrs like a kitten. As I crawl underneath the van, much of the same, very clean. No signs of any bent metal from an accident. No signs of any leaks, like fluid leaks or anything like that. No signs of any rust or, you know, from being in a flood or being that north. A little bit of surface rust. That's pretty normal on five-year-old vehicles. Close to five years old. That's the number one mistake people make when they buy a used vehicle. They assume things. They assume just because it's a 2019 vehicle. They assume because it looks good in pictures. They assume it runs and drives good. They assume it's been a, hasn't been in a bad accident. They assume it has a clean title. They assume it hasn't been in a flood. I don't care if it's a standard or mobility vehicle. Do not assume things. Go check out my competition. I'm, I'm, that's right. I'm sending you to the competition. Do they show you the reputation so you know you're buying from a reputable dealer? Do they show you a Carfax report so you can see the vehicle you're buying has not been in a major accident, hasn't been in a flood, it's got a clean title? Or do they ask you just to assume all that? Don't do that. Do they get down on their hands and knees on this hot pavement like I am right now and show you the undercarriage of the vehicle? So you can see the frame solid, it's not been up from an accident, it's not all rusted out from a flood. So guess what happens if you end up buying a vehicle that's got frame issues, whether it be from an accident or flood damage. It may not pass inspection in your state. If it won't pass inspection in your state, guess what? You can't drive it. You just bought a four-wheel paperweight. So demand four things. Demand a detailed video just like this. Demand a Carfax report, not some cheap knockoff. Carfax is where it's at. They show the most information. Yes, they do cost dealers like me a lot of money. Demand that Carfax report. Get online. Find out who you're buying from. Check out their reputation. Make sure they are a reputable dealer. And finally, demand that warranty. Like I mentioned, our van does show it's got the remaining specs. Me suspects to be have the remaining powertrain warranty from Dodge. Good any Dodge dealer in the country. So let's get the van out for a test drive so you can hear it run. 
Okay, the final portion of the video. I always like to get the vans out on the highway, give them some gas so you can hear the engine run, feel the transmission shift through all the gears, and you know whether you take advantage of our free shipping in the lower 48 states or if you come in and drive this caravan home. We've done our due diligence. We've made sure that it's roadworthy. The steering wheel's nice and straight. We've got it up to 60 if traffic permits. I'll pop her up to 70. There we go. Now that uh, ramp back there and door, um, they do vibrate a little bit. That door just folds up against that ramp. So it does bounce a little bit when you hit some bumps. So uh, be aware of that. All older mobility vans tend to tend to vibrate and make a little bit of noise. Looks like we might have an accident up here or something. So we're slowing down. But um, like I said, the van runs and drives real nice down the highway. It does meet those specs to be under the powertrain factory warranty still. Uh, if you'd like to explore options um, to further further warranties that cover a more uh, we bumper to bumper type warranties that go anywhere from 90 days all of all the way up to eight years and everywhere in between. So talk to me about how you can affordably protect your investment long term. Also keep in mind we don't have any hidden fees. A lot of these dealers, I see it all the time, they post a real nice price online. What they don't mention is a hidden $500 administrative fees, they got dock fees, they got tag fees. You know what their goal is? The goal is to get you to call about that real nice price or they have call for price. They want to get you on the phone with a used car dealer who's going to pressure you into buying, who's going to call you all the time, who's going to sell you on the vehicle. I don't sell you on the vehicle. I'll let you decide if you want this vehicle or not. Because I sell them all. It doesn't matter either way. These vehicles sell themselves at our prices. But back to the uh, extended or the uh, added fees. Be sure to ask about those added fees before you buy. Be sure to ask about shipping because once you add in all those hidden fees, once you add in the shipping, that real nice price you saw online can jump three or four thousand dollars. Not such a nice price anymore, is it? So my question to you: If someone's not telling you the real price of a vehicle, they've got a bunch of hidden fees on the back end to try and make more money out of you or to try and get a used car salesman to sink his hooks into you what else are they hiding from you is it a salvage title is it flood damage is it mechanical issues you know i don't know i just know in life transparency is key being upfront and honest from the get-go is the best policy and people that aren't whether it's used car sales or any walk of life there's generally a good chance they're hiding something else so be aware of that as you're out shopping and if you'd like to give us a phone call, 316-262-VANS, that's 316-262-8267. A nice hard brake, no grinding, no squeaking, no unusual brake noise or vibration. Once again, exactly what we're looking for. And hey, back to that phone number. If texting is easier for you or you just feel more comfortable texting, I am the owner. My cell phone is 316 518 four three seven seven and my name is jeremiah i challenge you to ask the competition if they are dedicated enough to customer service to give you the owner's cell phone number or do you get to call and talk into somebody and transfer you to somebody's voicemail or an automated system and you never get a call back so if you're like me if you're sick of being just a number to all these companies out there reach out to myself the owner let me walk you through start to finish we'll get you taken care of and if you do want to call the competition and talk to one of those used car salesmen we spoke of earlier, who's going to call you five times a day to ask if you're ready to make a deal, you go right ahead and do that. You enjoy. If you want absolutely zero pressure sales, I'm just here to give you information, let you make the best decision for you. Call me. That's exactly what I'll do because I promise you I'm going to sell this caravan whether you buy it or not. Absolutely zero pressure sales here. Yes, we do have financing available. You can send an application to your phone or email address. If computers aren't your thing, pick up the phone, give us a call. We're happy to take an application <coughs> Excuse me, over the phone. Yes, we do take trade-ins, even from across the country, whether standard or mobility vehicle. Call me, I can explain how that works. And if you'd like to see our entire inventory with detailed videos just like this, free Carfax reports on every single vehicle and dozens of pictures, so you know exactly what you're getting from the most thorough mobility dealership in the country, Check out our website 24 hours a day at www.mobility316.com. That's mobility316.com. And as always, thank you so much for checking out Affordable Mobility Solutions, where mobility is affordable. Call us today.